Today, we're talking about the York House and its connection to the Hatfield-McCoy feud. Hello everyone, welcome to Pikeville History Moments, where we talk about the history and heritage of Pikeville, Kentucky and the surrounding area. We'll talk about the origins of the York House and its connection to the infamous Hatfield-McCoy feud. Later, we'll tell you about a turn of events that many telling the feud story neglect to mention. Standing on Main Street in downtown Pikeville is the York House, which has recently been restored by the city of Pikeville with help from local volunteers. One of Pikeville's most prominent early citizens, Colonel John Dills Jr., purchased this property located nearly a block from his home for his daughter, Augusta, after she married attorney James York. Augusta designed the home and it was built in the 1880s during the height of the Hatfield-McCoy feud. The York's neighbor was attorney and state representative Perry Klein, a prominent figure in feud lore. Klein grew up next door to Devil Ants Hatfield, but was orphaned as a young man. Colonel Dills then became his guardian, so Perry and Klein and the Yorks were practically family. Perry Klein represented the McCoys legally and used his political influence in Frankfurt to support their cause for years. Following the 1888 destruction of the McCoy home at Blackberry Fork, the survivors moved in with the Kleins in Pikeville. Some Hatfields involved in the attack were captured in West Virginia and brought to Pikeville to await trial. The Hatfields hired James York to represent them. Issues surrounding the case moved quickly through the courts until the United States Supreme Court ruled against West Virginia and allowed the Hatfields to stand trial. McCoy had sworn to pursue more Hatfields using Klein's strategy of indictments, captures, and trials. However, Hatfield began to turn the tables by using the same strategy against Randolph and his sons. Randolph's sons had been with Bad Frank Phillips during raids into West Virginia and now had warrants out for their arrest in that state. Randolph was suddenly concerned that his own sons may face the gallows. By this time, the McCoys had moved out of Klein's house and into a house next door. It was said that negotiations intensified with Klein, McCoy, and York visiting daily in the front parlor of the York House. Around 1891, a deal was brokered. The McCoys gave up on pursuing any Hatfields who were still at large while the warrants against the McCoy sons were dropped. Soon thereafter, the Hatfields moved from Mingo County to Logan County, West Virginia, and the feud eventually came to an end. Many feud stories show Perry Klein as strictly being an advocate for the McCoys and even throwing fuel on the fire. However, following the Supreme Court loss, Devil Ants dropped James York as his attorney and hired Perry Klein to represent the defendants now on trial. Klein maintained that he was a friend to both sides. Klein began using his political connections to aid the Hatfields and York now representing the McCoys, was able to convince Randolph McCoy to stand down. It makes you wonder that if it was Hatfield's plan all along, or maybe York and Klein used McCoy's concern for his sons as the leverage they needed to end the bloodshed once and for all. Thank you for watching Pikeville History Moments. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe, or click on the link to our website at visitpikeville.com.